Now today we can't fully call it a dry day. We did see some showers earlier around 7 o'clock push through Trumbull County, even Mercer County, and then some more showers through Columbiana County. But again, a few rumbles of thunder, but mostly this afternoon we were looking at dry conditions and a perfect way to end the day. Now, not only are we dealing with dry conditions now, but we're going to deal with them tonight, even for tomorrow. We're going to go to the wall here, track current conditions, and then what we expect for the start of our work week. So across the board, no matter where you are in the valley tonight, you are looking at clear skies. You can probably see that full moon out there. Again, we we're looking at beautiful conditions for tonight, but chillier conditions. We're going to drop back down into the low 50s. A few of us could even hit the 40s. Now across the board already, we're looking at a few of us still into the upper 50s, but a lot of us still into around the low 60s. So we're continuing to drop, but not by much. This is the reason why we're seeing dew points. Now dew points measures that moisture in the atmosphere, but what it does is it's that bottom line. Our temperatures can't drop below our dew point. So as long as our dew points are in the mid 50s, this is where our low temperature is going to be. So if you look at dew point tracker, we are seeing pleasant conditions, but dew points will continue to fall and we'll get even nicer as the night goes on. But clouds and radar, we are seeing clear conditions. That rain chance that we saw earlier continuing to push out of the valley and right behind it, well, nothing. We're looking at clear skies all the way across the Great Lakes region. But what we're also tracking, some rain pushing into the northern part of the Great Lakes. Now there is a cold front right behind this. That's what kind of fueling those showers and pushing them southward towards the area. So they will arrive into the area sometime Monday afternoon and that's early afternoon where we can expect those showers, but also can't rule out that isolated shower as we get towards Monday morning. We'll play it out in future tracker for you. Now temperatures, we were talking about the low 50s. A few of us could even be into the upper 40s. We're seeing Warren as well as Greenville already putting in this round of future tracker into the upper 40s. So it's going to be a Chilly start to morning, tomorrow morning when you wake up with Alex George for first news Saturday or Sunday morning. But across the board throughout the day, clear and beautiful skies. Temperatures back up into the upper 70s. A few of us will even hit 80s, but that's not the only 80 degree day that we're going to see. Cooler temperatures, so we're not going to see those mid to upper 80s anymore, but we are going to see the chance for rain. So when Rich Morgan gets back to start off your work week at 5 and 6 o'clock with first news Monday morning, he is going to be telling you about some rain pushing through. So we'll do first news at noon. Again, that's when that first line is expected to push through. Now, not only are we expecting those line of showers and storms, but also showers and storms later on that afternoon into the overnight and evening hours. Paul will be tracking that and we'll have the latest coverage on that. So a lot happening here in the Weather Center. Not only are we tracking showers and storms for Monday, but then again on Tuesday and then for Wednesday. So if we're getting yard work done this week, well, today and tomorrow, well, that's going to be your last chance to do it. Tomorrow is going to be that good to mow day. Monday, only that morning, we're expecting those showers and storms into the afternoon and Tuesday. That is a no mo situation. Now we are also tracking more showers and storms beyond that. Tuesday is going to be really the rainmaker, expecting isolated scattered and uh, scattered thunderstorms into the afternoon. But that chance of rain sticking around for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, even though we're expecting average temperatures for most of the week. But the good news is, Julie, we are ending it on a good note. Partly sunny skies with Saturday.